Hey boys and girls from the extended learning program, this is Ms. Valeria. In my video for today, I will be going over some tips and tricks that you guys can use while trying to read a clock. Um, I am also going to be doing a fun puzzle with you guys that you guys can do at home and you guys could play with your family and keep entertained during this quarantine. So for this part of my video, I'm going to quickly go over how to read a manual clock. Um, I hope with these tips and tricks, it can be a lot easier for you guys and you guys start um, reading it, you know, whenever you want to know what time it is. So boys and girls, this is my friend, Mr. Clock. Before we can read him, we need to learn a couple of things about him. So right away, you could tell he has these two yellow pointing arrows. These are also called hands. So the larger hand tells the hour of the day and the smaller hand tells the minutes of the day so if you guys can see right now the larger hand is pointing at four and the smaller hand is pointing at 60 meaning it's the start of a new hour so right now it would be four o'clock Another tip I can tell you guys is when you guys are reading a clock, when you want to look at the big hand, make sure you guys focus on the hours. And when you're reading the small hand, make sure you guys focus on the minutes. So for example, right now, the time that the clock has is 2.45. Also knowing that each little line between the numbers is a minute. So each section has five minutes and there is 60 minutes in one hour. Now for our clock puzzle, um, all you need is a piece of blank paper, a ruler, and a pencil. Um, this can be very fun and effective for any, um, you know, student that's trying to learn how to read a clock um, you can also make this if you're like an older sibling or you know you have nieces and nephews at home and you know with this all this extra extra time i know you can um, make this very very easy and fun so basically all i did was break my paper into little squares like this and then i created um, the puzzle pieces and as well as I created a fun little drawing in the back so when they put it all together, um, they will see that they created a heart. All you have to do now is fill in the spaces with the clock and the time. So I just finished my puzzle and all I need to do now is cut it. One thing I do have to remind you guys is to make sure you guys cut it around the shapes that you guys made. And then once you guys take it apart, you will have fun with your siblings or your family putting it back together. So we are coming to the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also do hope that I made it a bit easier for you guys to tell the time on that clock. And if you do recreate that puzzle, don't forget to play with your friends and family at home.